Arise, my soul, arise and praise the Lord. Arise, my soul, arise and praise the Lord. Let the spirit in me rise. Good morning to everybody. Good morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters, as we come to this beautiful weekend of the Lord. We are about to unmute our backgrounds. Please watch your background so that we can all now worship the Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, your word calls us this morning to live in you, to abide in you, even as we live in the world. Teach us this morning to focus only on you. Teach us, O oh God, to focus on your kingdom. Teach us, O oh God, to depend on your word. For your word is light. You call us to choose between light and darkness. Give us, O oh God, your word. Give us, O oh God, your grace that we may choose and live by the light. Father, as we gather ourselves this morning, let heaven rejoice with us. Let the prayers of the angels rise unto your altar in heaven. Let the prayer of all of us be that we will worship you with all our minds, with all our hearts, with all our soul, so that, Lord, we shall be counted among those you have redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Jehovah God, hear our prayer. Jehovah God, hear the prayers of your children. Father, I stand in the gap and lift the prayers of the mothers and lift the prayers of the fathers and lift the prayers of the husbands and lift the prayers of the wives and lift the prayers of the priests and lift the prayers of the congregation and lift the prayers of the sick and lift the prayers of the strong and lift the prayers of the workers and lift the prayers of the unemployed and lift the prayers of those who are attacked spiritually and those who are enjoying spiritual peace. Father, I stand in the gap this morning and I lift up the prayers of all of us unto your altar of salvation. Hear our prayer, Father. Hear our prayer, Lord. Hear our prayer, Holy Spirit. For we are nothing without you. I come with all our prayers. I come to you with all our heart. I come to you with all our requests. Lord, hear us. Lord God, hear us. For we are yours. Father, I thank you for this day. I bless you for all of us. Father, I pray that the, the, the togetherness that we experience on this line will give us your grace to be able to confront whatever situation that you, will you present to us today. For you are Lord and you are God and you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we pray and reflect on the word of God today from the gospel of John chapter 15, verse 18 to 21, a very short text of scripture that we are confronted with for today. John 15, 18 to 21, and I read. Jesus said to his disciples, Jesus said to his disciples, if the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. Because, but because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. 
Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept, if they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. Beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Arise, Catholic faithful, rejoice and renew. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, hours, hours just before his crucifixion, Jesus still puts himself in a manner and a condition such that he's able to address his disciples and apostles and loved ones. Remember when you are reading John chapter 14, John chapter 15, you are just hours, minutes, away that he will be betrayed. Yet he does not give up. His focus is clear. I repeat, when many of us see death, when many of us see pain, when many of us see doubt, when many of us see trouble, our spiritual language and conduct change, and it changes for the worse. So but you do not have to pray, you do not need to be composed only when things are correct. You need to be composed even when you perceive or you are experiencing difficulties. Jesus was totally composed. Now he says to his disciples today, the world would hate you because it hated me first. Why did the Jewish people hate Jesus? You know, we need to understand. At first, the Roman people, the Roman Empire, they conquered the whole world. And when they conquered the whole world, they made sure that you pay taxes to Rome, and you can do whatever you want. But as you are give, paying taxes to Rome, make sure that you acknowledge Caesar, worship him, bow before him, say, oh, Caesar, you are good. Give Caesar false funds. So the Jewish people kept their faith, but made sure that they will always compromise with Rome. When Christianity came, when Jesus came, when the apostles were baptized, when they were in the spirit, they said, no way, no compromise. So now the Jewish people hated them because these people, they were not in conformity to their standards of Rome. So Rome will bring discomfort to them. And so anybody who does not follow Rome Jewish people would also be against you so that go away and give us peace. That is what many of us do. Compromise the faith. Ujidia uwa. Na wama jidia no ayetese nsuyo. Wa wunya shi. Wa wunya nyu. Udia nenese ukwa sorry. Nenu wano no. You are neither hot. You are neither cold. 
You, all you do is that you are just a church goer. That is dangerous. A Christian must be hot. A Christian must be cold. A Christian must be hot to the things of Christ. And a Christian must be cold to the world. A Christian cannot be double-minded. The Jewish people hated the Christians because the Christians were called a spade a spade. But for us Christians today, somebody became a Christian. And after two years, he used to walk with his old friends. And then his friends told him one day, as they were sitting down in a beer bar and in, on a party, they were eating and drinking. And then one of his friends told him that, Charlie, you are the coolest Christian that I know. You are a cool Christian. We are correct, papa, 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 papa. We are Christian, papa, we are cool. And that thing hit this guy like a sword. And he said, wow, me, I am a Christian and I'm supposed to be the coolest Christian. I am the Christian. She said, I, mean, I am cool. The guy saw it as an insult to his Christianity. And from that day, he changed. I speak to you. Are you the coolest Christian around? Do the, your friends think that, yes, would they be a Christian? I wouldn't say. And you know. Because when you are a Christian, the world will hate you. And if the world does not hate you, if you read from Luke chapter 6, verse 26, Jesus says that, Woe to you if the world speaks so well of you. Woe to you if the world speaks so well of you. You cannot be a cool Christian, as many of us have become. Overnight, you need to lose some friends. There are some things that you used to do that you do not do them no more. You should not do them again because you have become a Christian. My dear friends, we are, some people are married. When you wanted to marry, you did everything to please that woman. Now you became a husband. You have become a cool husband. Your Christianity is cool. When you want, you pray. When you don't want, that's it. Because you are a cool. God has given you a wife. God has given you a husband. So you do things coolly. My dear friends, it is time that Christians knew that, it is, that we must take things by violence. And I mean violence. You must work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Some of us are too cool. James chapter 4, verse 4, says that if you are a friend of the world, then you are an enemy of God. When read that, James chapter 4, verse 4, if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. First, second Peter chapter 3 says that if you desire, if James, Peter, Paul was saying to Timothy, if you desire to follow me, if you desire to be a Christian, if you desire to be a solid Christian, get ready for persecution. For us Christians, when persecutions come, we run away. And then we pray, Lord, give me good things. My dear friends, I want to challenge you today. What is your prayer? What is your prayer? What are you desiring for, for today? If you are a cool Christian, there is something wrong with you. You must be fire to the world. And you must, you must be fire and burn the world. And you must be cold when it comes to worldly things. And so, so, and you know, you have to say, you have to say, and you have to say, you have to say, and you have to say, the song writer says, great change since I have been born. 
Some things I used to do, I don't do them no more. There has been a great change since I have been born. Samuel, can you please sing to us? Great change since I have been born. Some things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. Some things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. There is a great change since I have been born. This is our prayer today, that there will be a change in us. Great change since I was born. Oh, yes. Great change since, since I, I was born. Great change. Since I was born, there is a grave since I was born. Sing in your heart. Change. Since I was born. Since I was born, great change. Since I was born, there is a great change. Since I was born, that is I used to do. I do them the things I used to do. I do them no more. The things I used to do. I do them no more. There is a great change since I was born. My dear brother, my sister, right now, we are going to be singing with someone. We are going to be singing with ourselves and saying, Great change, O Lord, I want in my heart. You are going to open your mouth right now and pray that God will give you a change. Say that, yes, Lord. I want to experience the change. I want to experience the change. The things I used to do, I do them. My dear no brothers, more. my dear sisters, now we are going to open our mouth and we are going to pray right now. Do, I just we are going to open the lines for prayer. And everybody no is going to pray right now that God will give me a change in my life. God is going to give me a change in my life right now. If you ask, no God will give it to you right now. Right now, let us leave our brother somewhere to do the singing whilst we pray right now. Open your mouth and shall we begin to pray right now? Shall we begin to pray right now? Shall we begin to pray right now? We ask that you continue to pray right now. We pray right now. We allow ourselves to pray right now. Just pray to God and take, tell him. On the ground, I rock, I stand. All pray right now, brother, my brother, my sister, just open your mouth. 
all other ground he sink his hands my feet has found everything please no down the road deliver us off okay We are praying for the deliverance of Unyang Kupon, Wafo Michael, Raphael, Ni Gabriel, Jimmy Free, Bompaye. Now, my brother, my sister, as you are home and wherever that you are, you are going to respond to the intercession. Just respond to the intercession and respond and say, we beg you, free us, O oh Lord, from anxiety and sadness and obsession. Respond. We beg you, free us, O oh Lord, from hatred, fornication, envy. We beg you, free us, O oh Lord, from thoughts of jealousy, rage, and death. We beg you, Free us, O oh Lord, from every thought of suicide and sinful sexuality. We beg you, free us, O oh Lord, from every division in our family and every harmful friendship. We beg you, free us, O oh Lord, from every sort of spell, witchcraft, and every form of occult, we beg you, free us, O oh Lord. Lord, you who said, I leave you peace, my peace I give you, grant that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, your children, we, I, may be liberated from every evil spell and enjoy your peace always in the name of jesus the lord and let us all shout and say amen may the demons fly away from you may darkness dispel may persecution be only your portion Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, Amen. 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 Amen.